Welcome everyone. Um, this is going to be me showing you how to curve an angle. So to do this, we're going to do this with a path 2D node. Um, I tried doing it with a rake house because I was curious to see if I could. I couldn't figure it out. Maybe you can, especially using the path 2D, maybe you can. However, um, I'll let you figure that out. <laughs> but for me, I'm going to show you guys how to curve something um, using our mouse and being able to kind of change the position. So let's first take our, can I move it please? Why can't I move it? That's very interesting. All right, well, let's just go over here to our path 2D and let's add a point. We'll add one to the beginning and we'll add one to this point. So the position, the first point we see we've added is zero, zero, and the out is zero, zero. Now position is X at 90. And let's see if I can move this. See, ah, that's not what I want to do. Hold on. Okay, let's delete all these points. Let's see, 90, zero. All right, there we go. All right, one thing we could try is adding a bunch of points. Let's go back, reset. What we could do is add a bunch of points until we get a curve, right? But now we have a bunch of points and that actually might take a while. In terms of performance, well, we would have to make a for loop, maybe use recursion, right? So it would be kind of a drag, right? Let me actually change the position like this. There, now we have the uh, thing over here. However, we don't want that. What we want is we want two points. Here we go. And we want to angle this curve. Now, it's actually pretty easy because we can just use the out and in. So here, if we increase the if I remember properly, oh, negative, right? So if we take this to the, uh, actually, no, I think this one is zero. And then, yeah, here we go. If the Y is negative like 50 or negative 90, and then this one is negative 90-ish, and then this one's also negative 90, we'll get kind of a, an angle here. Now, if we use, let's say negative 50, negative 50, there we go. We'll get like a relatively, whoa, that's not what I wanted to do delete that. All right, we'll get like a relatively decent looking curve, right? I think, uh, 50, there we go. <laughs> we have to make sure that the X is the positive value of these three. Okay, so now we have a decent looking curve. That's, it's, it's kind of hard to determine the angle, but maybe it's like, I don't know, 30 degrees, right? Here, this is how we curve an angle. Now, the question becomes, well, how do we do this in code? So that's my notepad, don't look at that. <laughs> Let's add a script and actually do this in code. So in order to do this, we can do it in the ready or process function. I'm gonna do it in the process function because we're gonna be changing this later anyways. Now we would do this by saying, we can say set the self.curve.set the points of the position because that's how we would access it. First, we need to access the curve and then we would access the points. And we can do that by saying set the point position and this is the index, so which point are we accessing? So zero, this one, and we're gonna set the position to zero in terms of the path to D, right? And then we would have to set the out and in. Now we can do that, of course, um, saying the same thing, but set point out. So we could, we could do like this and set point in and out. We see that there's uh, those two. However, we're not gonna do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna first get the global mouse position. So we need to get the global mouse position and subtract the self dot position. The reason we do this is because this position is at 200, 200, and we wanna subtract it from the mouse position, okay? Next, we're going to create a variable called out x. Now this is just gonna calculate the curve essentially, okay? And now what we can do is set the curve of the first point, which is gonna be 50 or in this case, we'll take the mouse position dot X and divide it by three, because this kind of gives us a decent angle. We can try two. In fact, let's I'll show you two first, and then we'll see what that looks like. All right, and then we now also want to do point number one or no, the second point, right? So we would do the same thing, but with index one this time. Now we can run this and see what it looks like. It will look like nothing because I think I need to go to the debug and show all I think the path is the one we want to see, but that's okay. There we go. And now we can see a curve. 
Now it's not perfect, but it's relatively decent. Now, the reason why I was doing three is because two looks weird. Now it looks much better, much more like a curve. You can kind of play around with these values, maybe two five or whatever, right? So play around with the values that you like, you know, um, you could also switch, like, let's say, uh, you want the top angle over here, and it's hard to point, but the top angle to be more like pointy or whatever, you can add an X and out Y uh, point, right? So you can kind of change the Y value instead of having these two be the same, right? Let's say um, this point over here, we want it to be more like this, or more like this, right? You can kind of play around with these values and kind of play around and see. So see here, we see the Y value is much higher. So we can maybe double the Y value or do whatever you like. So play around with these values. I'd love to see what you guys can do um, with this. You know, maybe join my Discord. Uh, show me what you guys can do because this is uh, something I kind of was playing around with. I was curious to see if I could curve uh, a raycast. I couldn't figure that out. Again, if you guys know how to curve a raycast, definitely let me know. I couldn't find a way to. I was trying to use the draw function, but that still didn't work. And I don't know. Anyways, um, hopefully this video helped on how you guys can curve a path. Um, I think the useful part of this is that this can work with, well, bullets, right? Because now I can actually send like a bullet on this path or something. I can imagine on a 3D, in a 3D game, this would be really cool because if I use like a bazooka, you can use three path 3D, right? And then aim with that. Um, obviously, it might be a bit more complex because it's in a 3D state, right? You don't want to uh, use the exact same idea, but it'll it's pretty cool. So if you guys like this video, subscribe, hit the bell button, and I will see you guys in the next video.